Modo Morsels Yum Yum Modo 14.2 introduced rig clay or nodal command regions. In this morsel I'm going to show you how to use rig clay to set up a simple toggle button. First we need to add our nodes. We'll need a polygon command region that's going to define the things which we're going to click on. We will need a command region gesture node and that defines how we want to interact with the command region whether it be a mouse click or drag. And finally we need a command region command which is going to actually issue the command that we want to execute. So let's drag those into the schematic and rearrange things so that we have the command region to the left, the gesture in the middle and the command to the right and then it's just a question of connecting things together. So the command region will feed into the gesture, the gesture will feed into the command region command. So let's look at each of these nodes in turn. First we have the command region. We can define a tooltip and what colour we like it and since I like purple we can make the command region purple. The gesture can be a left, middle or right mouse button and we can either click or drag. Let's just leave it as left click. And finally the command region command allows us to execute a command. We're going to fill that in in a little bit. So let's define the polygons first. We will need to select the button and then select the polygons that we want to make part of the command region. We might as well just use all of the polygons. And then if we select the command region we're able to add the polygons and they are then highlighted to show which polygons have been added. You'll notice also that the button has been connected to the command region. In order to make this work let's add a couple of user channels to the button. First let's add something to represent the button state that is either on or off so we'll make that into a boolean and then we're going to move the button up and down according to the button state so let's define an offset and we'll set that equal to a distance so that we can input meaningful values into the channel. So what we would like to do is for when we press the button it goes down and when we press it again it goes up. For that we're going to need to modify its Y position. Let's drag the Y position into the schematic and then separate it. That's going to make our lives rather more neat. And then we can simply multiply the button state by the offset to give us our new position. Nothing's happened at the moment because everything is set to zero. But if I set the offset to something sensible, say two millimeters, then if we change the button state the button will go up and down. But as you can see it's going the wrong way so let's make that minus two millimeters. Finally this is where the magic happens. We want to make the command operate on the button state channel and to do that we simply connect the button state to the channel selection in the command region command and we need to put in the command that we want to execute. And for our purposes the command we want is channel dot value question mark that will read the value from the channel and then plus which will increment and reset the value. And for a boolean that will change a false to a true and a true to a false. So now as we hover over the button we can press it, it goes down, press it again, it goes up. 
down, up, down, up, down. I could do this all day. So obviously you can use this button state to drive any boolean value in your rig. So it's incredibly powerful. Yum yum.